Okay, guys, Kung Fu Master in the blue headgear. Look at him. While they were touching gloves, he decides to make it a push hands competition. Look at that. The original channel on Douyin even slow mo that moment. So not understanding touch gloves, which means he probably has never really sparred like this before. But it's okay. So the boxing student's still a little confused about his little push hands type of... Um, um, what do you call that? And anyways, over the top, the the boxer, the kung fu master noticed. Okay, he's moving very forward, right? Look at that, just iron heading it. I don't think he's necessarily iron facing it because he's lowering, right? He's flexioning his neck. Oh wow! Oh, okay. Now that was iron face. Look at that. He's like, I'm not afraid of you. I'm not. Look at the boxing student is just kind of trolling, running around. <laughs> So, look at that. Oh, he ate one over the top. Look at him. Now he's, look at that. Yun Tsi, as they say. Like he's, um, uh, what is it? Circulating his energy. And then he's taking a little break. So, look at that. He takes a little break. And then they cut after this to he gets his gas tank back. But now the boxing student's also dialing it up. Look at that. Kung Fu Master, even though, oh, he does a spinning back fist. And now the boxing student kind of trolls. He's like, I don't want to fight him anymore. Oh, my God. <laughs> Pretty funny. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. So that was the challenge match, man. And this is the boxing student here. Uh, just showing that, look, he's not afraid to take punches if it has to go that way, right? So just a little, the this fight gym in here, big beard fight. They just wanted to show that, okay, he was having fun. They were just trying to humor the kung fu guy so maybe we'll watch this in slow motion what do you guys think shall we watch this in slow motion i think we should watch this in slow motion okay let's watch this in slow motion so starts here again notice by touching gloves the kung fu master immediately tries to turn it into kind of like a push hands type of scenario right so that was genius though you could say i don't know the rules and in the streets right we wouldn't have a touch hands right so you could totally say something like that so yeah um i don't think that's necessarily Anything bad there. And so, look at that. The boxing student initially is just kind of trolling. He's like, I don't know what he's doing. I don't want to fight him. So, obviously, this gym knows how to have fun with this, right? And then they also didn't beat him up immediately. But that was right over his lead hand, right? And then, look at that. Here, the Kung Fu Master kind of... Initially, you could call those boxing strikes. But he does some really interesting strikes that look almost like palm techniques. So... Notice he can't real. Oh, there we go. Here, here are some of them. Look at that. Yeah, you look at that. You see, like a lot of these could be palm techniques. Look at that. And then he just does an iron face right here. He does um flexion. Flexion means put the put the um chin towards the neck. He does flexion his chin. So so, but maybe he's you know how that like iron head thing that Yi Long and certain Shaolin Kung Fu say they do. That was probably the cleanest hook there. Got him again. I just noticed right after taking that punch, he immediately resorts to this like, oh, I need to circulate my energy a little. I need to take a break. So that punch definitely hurt him a little. It dazed him a little, right? And then he did take a break. And we don't know how long the break was because the video doesn't say it. But when he comes back, he's a little bit more aggressive. And Boxer takes it a little bit more seriously too. And then... Around here, he finally does a spinning back fist, which, by the way, spinning back fist, spinning hammer fist and stuff, it's in a lot of kung fu styles. So I hope you guys like this video. This channel on Douyin, I will let you guys know how to find it if you search. And they actually have a few more challenge matches. So if you want me to cover more of it, just let me know and I will cover more of them. To the people who know of the channel owners, let them know. They can always submit stuff or if they want to interview with me anytime, man. So I got them. So to people who speak Chinese who know the channel owners, I would love to feature them more. Please pass on the word. Okay, guys, make sure to press like. Make sure to press subscribe. Leave a comment. Is this the right way to deal with these funny challenges? Have a little fun with them. Make sure you're subscribed, guys, and consider becoming a channel member. Okay, talk to you soon.